No, don't have the account. Use this link. Use this link if you don't um, have an account. This is the last class. So I assume you know how to set up your account by now or how to set up your uh, page. So we have two pages. You can use the first link I sent you. You can use the first link that I sent you, uh, which is a link to use if you have an account. <clears throat> Otherwise, you can use the second link if you don't have an account. Okay, so I'm going to start sharing my screen. Let me know if you can see my screen. Okay, so can anyone see me? Can anyone see my screen? Yes? Yep, can we see, see my screen? Yep, okay, I can see some of you nodding, which is a good direction. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn some new things uh, before we uh, try to revise pretty much everything we learned. So it's gonna, call, it's gonna incorporate all the previous that we've done in the previous weeks, such as printing uh, numbers and strings, um, and then we're also going to um, uh, we are going to also use some loops as well. So yes, yeah, so <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna try creating a calculator. So I'll probably try to do the best of my ability just to create an account in a calculator as well. <clears throat> so let's let's first of all we're gonna um, allow ourselves to um, uh, to um, give yourself a name and stuff. So let's just say uh, Peter. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, um, <clears throat> um, uh, let's say, what is your name? Your name, question mark, and then, and then what we're going to do is, um, um, and then you can say, uh, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Um, name okay, so let's do this. This is some way of doing this. Nice to meet you. However, if you want, instead of like having to type the name individually here, what you can do is um, you can have the option to pretty much type in your name in the console. Here. So, so let's just say it will not work here. However, if we do this thing here called input. If you have input, um, instead of having to do this, we can delete this and we can say, what is your name? And then what you can do is um, you can type your name in and then say, nice to meet you. I can just say, maybe you can say, Aaron, nice to meet you, Aaron. Okay. So I'm just going to copy and paste this into the chat. Okay, so um, I'm gonna keep going, uh, but <clears throat> try. But I, I, every every block of the code, I'll copy and paste into the chat. Um, if yeah, so like I'm not gonna delete anything. Everything is from the top to bottom. I will um, I will just keep building on top of one. Okay, um, so let's uh, basically what we're gonna do now is say let's. Use our calculator today. Calculator today. Let's use our calculator today. Okay. Um, let's use our calculator today. Um, name. Okay. So let's do this here. What is your name? Just say, uh, let me say Thomas. Okay. Andrew, what's your question? Do you have a microphone or something or? Oh, I see you have a question. Do you have a microphone or, or you can type it to me personally in the chat. <clears throat> okay, we'll go back to you Andrew later, Andrew. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna say, uh, um, we're gonna do is we're gonna say like, hey, um, um, I'm just going to do this in there. That will allow us to put some space 
between here and here. Okay, so <clears throat> maybe let's say we get this Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Let's use our calculator together to get Samantha. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to say, so let's just say we have an operation. So you would do plus, minus, subtract, or divide, okay? So let's do this here. Subtract. So uh, let's do operation. Operation. And then this would be equals to input, okay? So let's do this here. Um, this one thing, okay? <clears throat> let's just <clears throat> make a simple step. Let's just do print here. Um, select, um, select, uh, select which operation you want. Select which operation you want. Okay, so let's say, <coughs> um, let's say one to add. Print two to subtract. Then we do print uh, three to uh, multiply. Or just do X and then do here. Um, and then say four to uh, four to what's it called? Um, four to um, how to explain this? Uh, four to divide. Okay, so here. Yeah. So <coughs> let's say, okay, so this is just going to, uh, we need to at least set this up here. Um, so let's just do, say, uh, well, let's do Amelia. Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna set this up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna press, uh, choose a number, etc. If we continue, Callum with a K, do you have a question? Um, for the name, um, equal input. Um, it's how do you put the name in? So basically, when you do the name, right? If you do name equals input, you see like uh, when you have a question that pops up, you see on the right hand side, you see yeah. like. All you have to do is type your name. So you do Callum with a K. Okay. Oh. Okay, so you should have made it here. You see on the right side, you see what is your name, and then you see this uh, white box here. And then you just type Callum on the right hand side. And you press enter. Okay. Here you go. Okay, mantra. Um, can you post this um coding on the chat because okay, we'll do that. Yeah, that's good. You match up. Okay. Um okay, uh what's your, I assume your name is Monique David. What is your name again? Uh just call me Tony. Uh when Tony. I when I do it. Tony, right? What? Okay. Toby or Tony? Tarek. Uh, when I do it, it says print one to subtract. So I it I did the code print uh, quotation one to subtract, and then uh, I I typed in one on the console, and then it's and then it said one. It didn't oh, yeah, start one by one. We haven't, we haven't, we Tuck haven't, so, so yeah, that's, that's right. We haven't done, we haven't, we haven't, no, we haven't done the operation. This is too early. This is too early days, yeah. This is too early days, sorry. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. But yeah, thanks for pointing out. So yeah, what Torok was mentioning was, um, was that uh, because you just type one, you just have one. No, we haven't done anything yet. Okay, so what are we going to do? Mind you, um, before we continue, right, um, we have an, a string. 
and we have a number. So a string is, at least in coding sense, is a bunch of letters or a bunch of words or uh, even like a whole bunch of things that is, um, uh, that is like bunched together to make a string. So this is a string here. This is a string. So what we're going to do is, um, that's what we do is say, um, what we're going to say is we're going to, uh, okay, I'm just going to answer Roxane's question before we continue. Um, when I do the code, it doesn't show up and it just prints what is your name. It doesn't add anything else. Oh, you need to, you need to type in your name and press enter on the right hand side. Let's see if that works. Okay, hope that answers your question. Okay, awesome. <clears throat> so what you're gonna do is um, after this, you're gonna allow yourself to. Um, I'm gonna allow yourself to um, uh, enter the next part. So uh, let's just do operation here. Uh, operation equals to input. Uh, pick one. Pick a number. Okay. Uh, so the thing is, because now we are going to consider the number, we have to convert. So whatever we input, like our name, our name is originally a string. A string is a bunch of letters or a, a bunch of words. But what we need to do is we need to convert. If we type a number and stuff, we need to convert the number, like the number in string form here, like into actual number itself. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, to put an int in front of this to convert this into a number. Okay. So this is say if we do Peter again, and then we pick a number, it's not going to do anything yet. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to check if the operation. Okay, so look, it's, but then what we're gonna do is, um, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna allow two numbers. We're gonna try to add two number. Okay, so let's do first number. Oh, this is first underscore number equals to input. You have to make sure it's an int. I'll explain to you why. I'll explain to you why it will not work. Uh, if you don't <coughs> put it in. So let's just first we'll do one thing. Okay, so let's say, um, let's just do input here. Um, enter, uh, enter the first number, enter your first number. <coughs> and then, we're going to do second number, input, enter your second number. Enter your second number, okay? And then enter your second number. And then this is just the answer equals to, just forget this for the time being. We're gonna to try to show the answer, okay? So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do answer equals to first number plus second number here. Okay, now we're gonna print the answer is equals, the answer is equal to answer. Okay, okay, wait, just, I don't know what I just gonna so, yeah. Okay, so here, if we try to do this without uh, converting it to an integer, let's just say uh, Peter here, and I'm just ignore this for the time being. The first number we're gonna do is gonna put four, and we're gonna put eight. The thing is, four plus eight does not equal to forty-eight. However, because both of them are strings. You combine them two together, okay? So um, I'm just gonna just quickly um, uh, do a print just here so we can add a space between here. 
and I'm going to put a print a uh, new line here as well just to make it look neater so what we're going to do is we're going to put you say you know again the number uh, okay what we're going to do is we're going to pick a number I'm just going to just do whatever for, for the time being it doesn't matter yet if I say um, say coding because it's not a number right because we we say how it works for a string because we added plus and plus here second number is class the thing is what it does is it joins <coughs> the first string and the second string together okay we join the first two numbers together it's going, to, it's going to join the first two words together in here because um, as you can see last time we did four and eight it goes to return 48 if you put curly in class since they're both strings since they're both strings it is pretty much um since they're both strings it will join them together however if let's just try this again just say peter or whatever your name is if i do four and four and twelve it should add equals 16 however it is 412 that is not correct therefore we need to put an int in front we have to put an int in front okay so we do peter and then let's do pick a number four and we do 12 it equals 16 now because we converted this to a number which we can add or divide or whatever it's called. I'm just going to also add a print here just to make it look neater and separate this. <coughs> okay, so I'm just going to try one of some more time so you can see. We're not using this yet. We'll get to that. I just want to get these parts running first. Okay, so let's just say Simon, and then we do just whatever is number. It wouldn't matter for the time being. Enter your first number. Um, let's just say uh, two plus four. It should add equals to six. Okay, so I know it's a bit too uh, process. I'm gonna copy and paste this to the chat. I'll answer some questions. I'll give you all like, a, like around five minutes just to uh, go through this. Uh, your own time. You can look at the chat. Uh, that should help, like, help you copy this. If there's any errors, make sure your opening bracket has a closing bracket. Opening bracket has a closing bracket as well. Okay, so we'll try the best. Just try to make sure everything's correct. If there's any issues, like for example, if there's any issues here, they will say there's an error, line 18 here, look at the line above, and then you see what we miss see. Maybe just copy delete and copy in the chat, whatever I type down, and I should fix your issues here. Wait, sorry, you should fix your issues here. And it should be working now. Okay, um, I know there's a lot to run through. So I'll give you some time just to type it out, give you five minutes. I'll answer some questions along the way. Okay, Torb. I think I just figured out the answer. It's was my it? question. Yeah. Was, 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 yeah. I just, I think I figured out the answer to my question. I don't need any help. Okay, awesome. Good job, Torb. Okay, uh, Roxane. Um, yeah. it still doesn't work. Okay, um, what does it work on your end? So, so it just says, what is your name? Sorry, and it doesn't give, give anything else. Okay, so when you see what is your name, can you talk, can you, you see how I click like on the right of the question mark? You see that, yeah? Huh? You see that box next to the question mark? So you see, yeah. on, type your name and type your name there. So say Roxane. And you press enter. Oh, okay. Does it work now? Uh, 
I'm trying. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, it works now. Great job. Good job, I said. Okay. Um, I don't know what I don't know what name it is. What's your name? It's hug. I tried to make it. Um, I tried to make it using symbols. Actually, I think, I think I, well, I accidentally, well, forgot to lower my hands. Sorry. That's fine. Right. Okay, awesome. Okay, step so one. Um. So when? How do you make like subtract? Like, it's just um, adds. Yeah, so we 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 will get we'll get to that in a little bit. We're just focusing in subtract on uh, the adding right now, and then we'll focus on subtract. Oh, okay. okay. We'll get in a bit, yeah. This is not the complete calculator. We're just only doing the first part that allows you to add uh, the first two number, and then we'll do operations just to change if we can um, add, subtract, multiply, or divide. I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, I'll give you your four more minutes. Six forty-five. We'll continue on. Okay, Dailies, do you have a question? Hey, Tak, um, my real name's Cooper. Cooper, okay, okay. Can you change your name? Um, it's just, um, every time I try to print something, it's just all this um, um, updating packaging and all these errors, and it, I can't know, I don't know how to get it away. Okay, um, let me, okay, I'll let you, sh okay. Um, Share screen. I will. Okay. Well, okay. I'm just gonna copy and paste the code again in the chat before I, I let you share my screen. I'll just um I'll share my screen to show you. Okay. This. What I mean. Um. Okay. Yeah. I'll share my. I'm sharing my screen now. Yeah. I'll see. Okay. I'll share the screen. Um. Where is it? On the bottom. Uh, yep. Yep. No. Which one was it, Mum? It there's just so many coming up. Okay, so okay, so I okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. In the bottom here, so the yeah, yeah. screen button. Um, I'll show you in the corner. Okay, perfect. Um, um, it's, good, it's taking a while. Is okay. it? Can, can you see it yet? I, I don't know what you did. Can you see it? I can see, yeah, I can see, yeah. Yeah, can you see all this stuff coming up and I, I, can, I can see, yeah. Um uh okay, so that'd be interesting. What happens if you press run? Run. Okay, um Cooper, if if it doesn't work, then try using this, try using this page I sent here. What pardon, what did you say? There's a link I sent you in the chat. Try that and see if that works. There's a link I sent you. Try that. Where's the link? In the chat, yes. Where is it? Can you see the chat? Chat. Yeah. There's, there's a website I sent you because there, probably there's some issues on your end. I'm getting into it. Okay. What was it? Um. Is it um the, the HP? Yeah, is yeah. 
is the one that says program is Chara. Okay. Hopefully this thing works. If it doesn't, my computer glitched. This is mine. I'm on my actual okay. online Python. Okay. Um. So now just try, try press run and see if it works. Yes. Now press run and see if it works. Press run. Yeah. Okay, awesome. I now, press run. It's taking so long. Jimmy, just listen to him. Hello world. Yes, it works. Now, now use it, use it for the rest of the class, okay? If you want to catch up, just copy the paste of code in my chat. In the chat. Do you want me to um stay on this one? Um, yes, yeah, just stay on this for the rest of the class. Do you class. want me to stay on this? Um, yes. Online Python thing. You can stay for the rest of the class. Yes. Okay, awesome. Thanks. Thank you, Cooper. Okay, um, Justin, you have a question? Uh, can anyone else see my screen? I'm finished. Nice, right, awesome. Um, yeah, 646, we will continue on. Um, we'll continue on. We'll get people to share what they've done in, in the class. Um, but yeah, let's move on. Now, <clears throat> let's do this thing where we can check <clears throat> what number we've done. Depending on what number we put in, uh, we will make it add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, um, first of all, we're gonna check, we're gonna check like, um, I'm gonna check like, um, if it's, it, it we'll check first of all, check if, um, if the number you added is a one. And after adding, uh, after you put in number one, it will run the answer. Uh, otherwise, but before we do, what we're going to do is we're going to put answer um, equals to zero. Just put something default for the time being. Okay. So what we're going to do is just put this uh, as a default. Uh, uh, I'll just, I'm just going to say put answer just to zero for the time being. Okay. It means you haven't done anything to that yet. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to check if this is what we do is check the mission. It will check if operation is equals to one. If operation equals to one, then you press, make sure you put the column here. And then like how we did for the while loop. Okay, uh, let me try to, uh, like we did for the while loop and stuff. I'm just gonna fix the, uh, Okay, I, I assume you get, I got this part right. I'm just gonna scroll down. If you can't, if you can't see what's above, just look at the chat. Remember how we press the tab or if we press the space four times. So one, two, three, four, or just press the tab. What we can do is we can <coughs> uh, do um, answer equals the first number plus second number, okay? Okay, so else, else, um, yeah, just what we're going to do is, um, um, yeah, so what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to say, uh, if operation equals to one, then if the answer is, uh, is, uh, whatever. So let's try this again. Let's run this one more time. Okay, so let's pick, uh, wait, let me just. I need to clear this. Let's try running this again. Okay, I think there's some issues. I think everyone's having issues. If anyone's having issues, I will switch to the other compiler as well. I'm not sure why it's not working on my end. That's what I'm okay, so I'm going to use the backup. Let me use the backup here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say Peter. And then let's pick a number. If we put, if we just say we'd say number, this is this is show number one. Okay, so it has to. Uh, it's gonna. Sometimes you need to be. You have to be very. It's more sensitive. Let me just try and see if it works. I'm just gonna try reloading this page first before I go to this one. But if you run this here, let's do Peter here. I'm gonna pick a number. If operation equals so, let's just do. 
and one into your first number, we'll do 20. Oh, sorry. Uh, I think this is 67 again, so I don't know. I don't want to see you. Let's just do Peter again. Pick a number, let's do uh, one. Let's do two. I really don't want to see it's at the bottom right corner. Let's do 20. Then you put uh, five, the answer is 25. If you, okay, so like if you press, if you on this website here, and if you press, if you press enter for longer, then it, sh it will not, it will just not work properly. So if I just say Liam, and then, yeah, so I don't know. If I just do Liam, and then if I do one, let's do say uh, four, and we'll do eight, we'll get 12. So this is saying we do, uh, maybe we can do Lachlan. We do Lachlan. Oh, wait, sorry, we have to. Sometimes you have to play around with this. Give some time and then do Lachlan. And then the thing is now, if we do, if we say number three, if we do another number, it will, um, it will, if we type like say, if we do three and, um, Two, you should get six. However, the answer is zero because we haven't uh, done anything yet. Okay, so what I'll do is um, I will. Um, what I'll do is I'll do the um, multiplication first. The multiplication. Okay, we do the multiplication here. What we do is we do else if. Or in Python, we do elif, we check if the operation is equal to three, we will check the answer. Answer equals the first number times the second number, okay? Okay, so what we do is, let me say, let's do, probably I'll do camera with a K. Okay, and then I'll probably do, um, what I'll do probably next is um, we can do pick two numbers. What we can do is we can, um, I'll just pick number three to multiply. Wait, oh, sorry, I have to, sometimes you have to use it to try again. Uh, let me just say Caroline with a K. Let's do three. I'll just do um, three times two. The answer should be six. Okay, I'll copy and paste all this in the chat. Okay. And then what I want you to do is uh, do basically implement what we learned here. We check if uh, the number equals to one, if the number equals to one, we'll, we'll plus. If the, otherwise, if the number equals to three, we'll multiply. I want you to, what I, the task I'll give you is to, uh, to do for number two and number four. For subtracting some for divide, I'll give you your ten minutes just to get this done. Uh, this is a big, this is a challenge. So what I want you to do, I'll just zoom out so you can see. It's a bit small, but you should be able to see. If you can't see, you can look in the chat. Okay. So the challenge is try to do the same uh, for operation equals to one and operation equals to three. Okay. Um, I'll answer some questions in the meantime. Cooper again, what's up? Oh. Uh um, it was just, um, uh, it was just the, um, it, um, the, um, sound, it keeps glitching all the time. Is it glitching? So can, can you sometimes... Can yeah, you... um, it keeps saying low quality sound. Oh, yeah. And yeah. also you go like, blah, 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 when the computer's making go, blah, blah, blah. Okay, if it, if it happens again, if it happens again, let me know, um... Then I'll probably restart, reset, reset the computer and stuff. Uh, yeah. But letting me know. I'll, try, I'll if it happens again, just let me know. Anyway, yeah. thank you very much. Right. Okay, uh, Darren, what's your question? Uh, so this is not right. Okay, so you know how you did if operation uh, equals like. Okay, let's go on to free. If operation, uh, line 24, string 24. Yeah. 
Um, is the E and the L supposed to be there? Yeah, that, that is, yeah. Because it will check, oh, this is the first check and condition to check. Else, el, elif, elif is short for else, if. Does it make sense? Oh, so, so the first one, if operation one, and then for the rest, we do yes. elif. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. But do it, for, do it for subtract and divide as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sub one. Oh, um, never mind. Um, I wanted to say a question, but I already figured out the answer. I think awesome. It wouldn't work so well. Okay. I'll give you your 10 minutes just to figure out how to do uh, for subtract and for divide. And then some people can start demonstrating and then we'll uh, do one last thing to wrap up to, um, uh, to clean up the code. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, Justin, what's your question? So in Reptile, is this how you do it? Can I share, what? Can I share screen? Um, let me check if I share my, if I copy this in. Uh... Okay. Um, okay. Try sharing screen, yeah. Try sharing screen. Okay, what's your... Okay, let's see what you've done. Oh, you did else as well. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that looks really nice. Brilliant. Nice. Awesome. Can you try for can you try for subtract? Nice, awesome, really would, well, Justin. Okay, Justin, um, challenge for you. Um, okay, so this is this will be a bit of a challenge for you, but um, what you can do is if, um, okay, if a number, if something is okay, uh, I'll, I'll, what I'll do is um, I'll demonstrate what is the extra challenge, and then if for those who finish early, um. All we do is we finish early. Um, all we do is we finish early. Um, okay, so for example, if if you put your, okay, so if you say um, here, if you pick a number, 
maybe pick a number or something like that here. Just say four, and then if you oh wait, it's just sorry, let me try again. Okay, so if we um so if we do this one, if we type a bunch of letters, it will say that it's not a it's not a valid number. It will say this. That is not valid. So what I want you to do is maybe try. I want you to do is try what's it called? Um, doing a while loop to check if it's the right number before answering before before um before uh, and asking for the second number. Okay. So um, I'll just find this. Uh, uh, in Python. I just want to see this here. Okay, so um, refer to the chat I've given you, uh, but I'll, this is something I'm doing in the meantime. Um, so it will check if it's uh, numeric and it will keep answering the question until you get it done right. So let's just try this here. So what we'll do, we'll do is we'll continue on with this. Uh, if we, we check if uh, the first number is a number, uh, well, is, wait, so let's just check if it's not numeric. Let me just try this. Uh, Okay, um, is, uh, is false? I'm just playing around with this, uh, just, just, uh, know what I'm doing right now. Let's just try to see if this works. If it doesn't work, then if I just do something here, no, it will not work. Uh, Um, but if, uh, well, students, people, students, false, let's just try this. Okay, that's fine. Um, we just, just ignore this for the timing. We just continue on doing this as normal. If there's an issue, we just have to rerun it again. Um, if not, then yeah. So in, for everyone who's done early and stuff, I just um, just maybe maybe do a thing where you can like square to numbers and stuff, like no, option number five where you can square to numbers and stuff. So yeah. Um. I'm just gonna ask some more questions in the meantime. Firstly, it's my birthday, and secondly, the um, and secondly, there's something that it says um, it says file main main dot pi line twenty one uh own sub first number. Okay. Plus sec yeah. on number and the and the and. And the arrow is pointing to either the N or the U of the second number, of the word second number. So what I think you, you probably got something similar to this here. You probably have something like this. Make sure you have the extra um, extra closing bracket here and see if that works. And also happy birthday. We'll, um, uh, we'll probably sing happy birthday. Uh, you probably sing happy birthday in another class. Yeah, you. yeah, you can, but make sure you but make uh, but I'll make sure that my sister isn't here or else she'll cry. Again? I'll make sure that my sister isn't here else else she explode yeah. into a um a tantrum and cry. 
Okay. Okay. Awesome. I'll set a reminder for that. Um, okay. So awesome. Happy happy birthday. We'll sing the song happy afterwards. Um, okay, Amelia. Amelia. I'm telling it to. I'm pressing one, but it won't do anything. Okay, so you have to press enter as well. You press enter. It, okay, that's oh. good. Awesome. Good job, Amelia. Okay, uh, Himanshu. Can you please help me check my code? Okay, what's the issue with your code? Okay, can you share your screen? Okay, I'll answer Himanshu and Chantel and we'll move on. Oh, that was really good. You did, did, did extra stuff. Awesome. You did nested stuff as well. Oh, brilliant. That was really nice. No, this is really good. Awesome. Good job, Himachu. It's brilliant. Awesome. Great job. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, Chantel. Chantel, and then we'll move on, quickly move on to wrap things up. Chantel, you there? Hello, Chantel. Can you hear me? For some reason, I can't hear you. So, okay, I'll we'll we'll probably get back to you later. Uh, that's fine. Um, okay. Um, if you have any issues, what I recommend you just, just copy and paste the code into your chat and see if it works. Okay. Look at the code in the chat and see if it works. Okay. Um, let's see if that works out. Okay. Thank you, Chantel. Okay, so um, okay, what we do is we would provide the answers to everybody. <clears throat> we do just to um, really continue on to wrap things up. We do uh, let's just say um, operation <laughs> operation equals to two. We do answer equals the first number <clears throat> minus second number. Okay, do elif operation equals to four. We do answer equals first number slash, which is a divide, second number. Okay, the thing is, uh, okay, so let's just try this. Let's just do four uh, divide. Okay, so let's do um, names Peter. Oh, wait, the hell? Let's try it. Peter, and then let's do uh, uh, four, and let's do eight. This is just do seven divided by two. It'll be a decimal here. Okay, it'll be a decimal. However, if we do a number that is not one, two, or two, or three, or four, let's do Tommy, let's do um, seven. It will not print, it will not. Uh, yeah, it will not print anything or something like that. So what we do is that's why we need to include one more thing. We do else. Then okay, we do else here. Else, um, what we do is um, else print the 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 operation. 
operation is invalid. And they would say, and there won't be, the answer will still be, the answer will still be zero. Okay. Um, as below. Okay, so let's try this here. Let's just do, say, uh, Orion. Let's do nine, two, two, as below. Okay, I'll copy and paste this in the chat for all of you to see. Okay. This should be the last bit of code for the class. Um, this should be the last bit of code for the class. I'll try to answer some last questions. Uh, Darren and Andrew, and then we'll wrap the class. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm not gonna just, okay, start my video. So I don't know, it, it, it would probably be easier for you to see. So like, can you like kind of like pin my screen, you know how to pin people's screens. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see. Okay, here. Um, wait, let me just quickly find this here. Uh, spotlight. Okay, let's see. I can see. Can we see? So, yeah. Okay. So, here. So, here's my. You should. Can you see it? Yeah, exactly. I can see it. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to click run. And it says file string line 20 if operation was blah 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 blah. No, you need um, to add the column, try adding the column in everything after that. You forgot what? the column, you know, like the two dots after the you know the column, right? This this symbol here. Uh, you need to include the column. Oh, that one. Yes. So yeah. after so after I do if operation, I need to do a call. Exactly, yeah. So right after now. if operation or just after if? After if operation equals to one, and you do a call. Okay, I'll sh I'll show you, um, show you my screen here. You see the column here? Okay. You see the column? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. Okay. Awesome. Um. Okay, I'll, I'll give, I'll let you all look at this for one more minute and then we'll uh, wrap up the class. If you, if you struggle to keep up with this, um, look at the chat. I'll just copy this in the chat one more time. I'll copy in this, this into the chat one more time. I'll give you time to copy and paste this on your own. Um, otherwise, um, you can look at the YouTube video. I assume you'd be looking at the YouTube video. Uh, to catch up and stuff. Um, otherwise, what we will do is I'm just gonna wait for one minute. Um, any last questions, Justin? Yep, very last question. Uh, the reptile thing is this how you do the while loop? Um, okay, can you show your screen? Can I show you? Yeah, can you show your screen? Show. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant. Okay. Oh, that's brilliant. That looks really nice. Oh, awesome. Good job. Uh, oh, brilliant. Yeah, okay. Oh, nice. For some reason, mine wasn't working, but yours working it was really well. Awesome, brilliant! This is how you do the while loop. Um, can you copy and paste this? Go to the chat as well, Justin. For everyone else to see. Yes. Oh, it's really good. Great job. Really work, Justin. Really work. Very impressive. Awesome. Yeah. If you okay, I'll sh um, I'll share my screen again. Um, yeah. Oh, this is what we, this is just more advanced stuff. We just basically what it does is it will check 
uh, that whatever you whatever you put is a number. If it's not a number, you have to type the number. You have to type in a number again. Type anything again here, and you type everything again until it's a number. So that's what Justin did pretty well. Also, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sing. Uh, wait, sorry. Um, this is one last class. Uh, okay, let's just see who. This is. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Just. Uh, what we do? Um, okay. So what was your name again? You want to turn your camera on? Top. Yes. Let me just uh, turn off. Hey, Joseph. No. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So perfect. Awesome. So. What are we gonna do? Let me turn off the background or something. Turn the background so we can. Okay, so three. We're gonna say, what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go away. Bye. 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 Bye.